have been working very hard on an investigation into Secretary Mayorkas and his failures and willful uh, willfulness to break our United States federal laws in regards to the border. Uh, just a few months ago, two of my own constituents, Jose and Isabel Lerma, were killed in a human smuggling pursuit. A 17-year-old illegal alien, likely working for the cartels, drove illegal aliens across the border, hit them head on. This lovely American couple from my district was killed on their way to visit family. Uh, we have Americans dying every single day, and all I hear from Democrats every time we talk about the border is they're worried about migrant rights, they are, claim they're concerned about children and women, and then they claim, in spite of all the evidence, in spite of the fact that over 10 million illegal aliens have crossed our border, in spite of the fact 1.9 million people Illegal aliens are in our country, gotaways. We don't know who they are. We don't know where they are. We don't know what they're doing. And in spite of the fact that over 300 Americans are dying every single day from fentanyl overdose, the numbers don't lie, but the Democrats do. Now, this is interesting to me. Sitting in here earlier, I was listening to the discussion on jobs and that the whole reason claimed by my colleagues on the other side of the aisle is that they want to bring in as many illegal aliens as possible, give them am amnesty so they can fill jobs in America. And then they talked about that we have a population growth problem in the United States. They were talking about the real issue of it being the lowest population growth and why this is a problem. Well, I think we can all say that if maybe, perhaps, 63 million people weren't murdered in the womb, we wouldn't have a population growth problem, would we? That's not women's reproductive rights. That's called abortion. It's called murder. And that's led to, yeah, a population growth in America. But Democrats claim that we've got to replace Americans with illegal aliens to fill jobs. That's their solution. That's their solution. And take away jobs from Americans. That's their solution. The Biden administration is guilty of the largest human trafficking operation in history. This is human trafficking. I just traveled in airports across the country just the past few days. You know what I saw in our airports? Migrants, illegal aliens, all over in the airports. Do you know who's paying for them to travel? United States taxpayers paying for them to travel. We're so sick of this. Everybody's sick of it. Oh, but children in cages, is that what we want to talk about? Crying over children in cages. But yet the Biden administration has lost, Mr. Homan, how many children have they lost? Nearly 100,000. Nearly 100,000. But they have accused you and, and former President Trump in the previous administration of, of all kinds of horrific things. How do you feel about that? It's ridiculous. It's, look, I testified earlier, illegal immigration was down 83% towards the end of the Trump administration because of all the policy we put in place. When 83% less people come in, how many women aren't being raped? How many children aren't dying on the border? How many Americans aren't dying from fentanyl overdose because the border was on the line seizing more fentanyl? How many women weren't sex trafficked? How many billions of dollars did cartels not make? President Trump's policy saved lives, saved lives. The wall saved lives, why? Because the most vulnerable, the families and the, and the females and children, they can't climb the wall. They're gonna to go to places where it's not a wall. And what's gonna be there? Border patrol agents to deal with the humanitarian and health issues that are gonna come across. Our policy saved lives. Record number of Americans have died on this administration from fentanyl. A record amount of migrants have died on the Southwest port, illegal aliens, uh, 1,700, right about that. These policies aren't humane. They're killing Americans, killing migrants at record levels. That's right. Killing people every single day while forcing the American taxpayer to pay for the human trafficking. That's exactly what the Biden administration is doing. Looking forward to the next administration where we're going to have the largest deportation system 